So guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, we are the Kenna Family Adventures, a family of five from Northern Ireland that love to travel. And we vlog our trips, not only for making our own memories, but in the hope of helping others get the most out of their important vacation time. If you've been to Orlando before, you'll know there are hundreds of food options and sometimes one of the hardest decisions you'll make in a day is where to eat that night. And this is even tougher if you're traveling with kids. We've done a video on everywhere we've eaten during this recent trip to Orlando. That's a good mix of quick service and table service restaurants. We score them out of five on overall ambiance, service, food quality, and value for money. And then we say whether we go back or not. So if you look for a bit of inspiration on where to eat or possibly where not to eat, then hit that subscribe button as there's plenty more restaurant reviews to come. So Chili's is a favorite of ours. It's a Tex-Mex stroke American style family restaurant. There's about seven of them all around Orlando and tons of them across the US in general. They're known for doing some pretty good deals, uh, really good value for money and the menu shoes, so something for everyone. Esme, is this the biggest apple juice we have ever seen? Yeah. How does it taste? Lovely. Lovely. Jake's, have you tried yours yet? No, I'm mixing it up. Oh, it looks amazing. Can I have a little taste? Daddy's got a beer. He's halfway through it already. And then there's another. And I haven't got one yet. So plenty of options on the kids menu, I'll just run through them here. It's only $5.75 or $6.75 depending on what you have. There's macaroni and cheese, pizza, burgers, cheeseburgers, um, pasta and chicken tenders and a, a grilled chicken dippers. Um, they come with a side order. They include fries, corn on the cob, broccoli, salad, mandarin oranges or Mexican rice or mashed potatoes. So plenty of options on there and some healthy ones too. That price of $5.75 or $6.75 includes a drink as well. Now anyone who's been to Chili's before will know that the adults menu is absolutely huge. There's so many options on here. Plenty of drinks and drink specials on most nights as well, which is great. Uh, one of our favorite things at Chili's is the appetizers. There's so much choice here. From the amazing chips and salsa that used to be free but are now paid for, boneless wings, bone-in wings. Uh, you get a triple dipper, which is little mini burger sliders with the Southwest egg rolls and uh, chicken tenders. Uh, just so much choice, uh, it's, in, it's impossible to choose. For the main course, you're looking at burgers, fajitas, chicken crispers, which is their chicken tenders, smokehouse combos, including ribs and wings, steaks, salads, seafood, uh, sandwiches, uh, bowls and quesadillas, so much choice and there's so many good deals on here. They do a three for me deal which gets you an appetizer, an entree and a drink for as little as $10.79 per person, which is incredible value. Even if you add tax under that, it's less than $12. So you really could get some uh, some great value food if you wanted. The Chili's restaurants always seem to be busy as well. It's always a great vibe about them. We want to go to Cheesecake Factory. We went there, but as is always the case, it's yeah, present. We didn't think it's President's Day weekend. Um, it's busy. And the rain, a lot of people didn't go to the parks and went shopping. Yeah, so the they're park... all there piling out of the shops, weren't they? Yeah, the wait times in the parks are quite low today. I think everyone's like going shopping and going eating. We hit their prime time, seven o'clock <laughs> on a Sunday evening, a busy weekend, a holiday weekend. And they said it was at least an hour and a half. So we jumped in the car, we came down I Drive, we're checking back into the Rosen tonight. Um, so we went to I Drive, and there's loads of options down here. I've been quite happy to go back to Miller's. We knew there's a Chili's here, we popped in. We do in. like Chili's, so we, we haven't done it this holiday so far. So we got seated pretty much straight away. We've all ordered and we're good to go. So it wasn't long until the chips came out and it's so dangerous. These are so good and so tasty, but you could so easily fill yourself up in these and not leave room for your main course. Um, even Noah uh, enjoyed them, Jacob and Esme not so much. We didn't touch the side of these, they're just far too big, far too many for this. The portion size are absolutely huge, but yeah, so, so good. We didn't go for any other appetizers because we just knew we wouldn't make, leave room for the main courses. And with the portion sizes being big, um, we, we just wanted to make sure we had room for that. It was super busy in here tonight, same idea, it was President's Day weekend and everywhere was busy, uh, but our server was really attentive. We didn't have too long of a wait for the mains to come out and they were sizzling hot and looked incredible. So this is my smokehouse double. Here's his pizza, looks incredible. 
Look at this trio shrimp, chicken, and beef fajitas. Wow. With all this. Yeah. They, they think this is your wraps around here. Yeah. Jacob has pizza and fries. Look at Noah. Noah's got quadruple burgers with fries. Oh, he's got a lot of broccoli too. Hey, you two. Jacob's. How'd you get on? Finish the entire thing, all the chips and the pizza. Well done, son. Noah, you got beat, did you? Yes, just about. Thank you. You're welcome. I got beat in the end. Everything done? Yeah. Everything's done. Here's my head, a wee bit left, and Jim, Mine's you did done. really well. So we rate all of the restaurants we go to out of five across four main areas. First one being General Ambiance. Um, we had to give this a four out of five. It was super busy in here tonight and there's a real good feel about the place. So four out of five there. Service, again, considering it was so busy and it was present day weekend, was excellent. We'll give that a four out of five. Also, food quality. We, again, we're going for four out of five here. Everyone really enjoyed their food. No one had any complaints whatsoever. Lastly, value for money. Again, surprise, we're going to go four out of five here because it was, we could have had cheaper meals, but we everyone just got what they wanted. It still ended up very reasonable for a family of five. That gives it a total score of 16 out of 20. Puts it in third place from this holiday behind Miller's in number one with 20 out of 20 and Steak and Shake, which came in at 18 out of 20. 16 out of 20, still a very decent score. Lastly, we say, would we go back or not? This is a definite yes. One of our favorites. Definitely recommend it for a good value family meal. Thanks for watching guys, we really do hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel. Don't forget we do have other restaurant reviews on the channel if you want to go and check those out and comment down below let us know what your favourite restaurant is in Orlando and why.